Lord my God, when I'm in awesome wonder, consider all the worlds thy hand hath made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate the mystery of God's love for us, the mystery of the Eucharist, and also we remember the life of St. Augustine, of Canterbury. And let us now, my dear sisters and brothers, we call upon God's love to heal us and to forgive our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. And you came to call the sinners, Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who by the preaching of the Bishop St. Augustine of Canterbury, lead, led the English people to the gospel, grant, we pray, that the fruits of his labors may remain ever abundant in your church through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. Now will I recall God's works. What I have seen, I will describe. At God's words, were his works brought into being. They do his will as he has ordained for them. As the rising sun is clear to all, so the glory of the Lord fills all his works. Yet even God's holy ones must fail in recounting the wonders of the Lord. Though God has given these his hosts the strength to stand firm before his glory, he plumbs the depths and penetrates the heart their innermost being he understands. The Most High possesses all knowledge and sees from of old the things that are to come. He makes known the past and the future and reveals the deepest secrets. No understanding does he lack. No single thing escapes him. Perennial is his almighty and wisdom. He is from all eternity, one and the same, with nothing added, nothing taken away, no need of a counselor for him. How beautiful are all his works, even to the spark and fleeting vision. The universe lives and abides forever 
To meet, to meet each need, each creature is preserved. All of them differ one from another. Yet one of them, none of them, has he made in vain. For each in turn, as it comes, is good. Can one ever see enough of their splendor? The word of the Lord. <clears throat> By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp, with the ten-string lyres chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the breath of his mouth, all their host. He gathers the waters of the sea as in a flask. In cellars he confines the deep. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Let all, earth, let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all who dwell in the world revere him. For his, he spoke and it was made. He commanded and it stood for, forth. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take the courage, get up, Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go, our, go your way. Your faith has, has saved you. Immediately he received his sight and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. We are gathered here this morning as a community of believers for one reason. To present all our problems, struggles, and weaknesses to our Heavenly Father. Like Bartimaeus, the blind man, in our gospel reading today, he believes that Jesus will stop whenever he calls him. And Jesus is the only one who can cure him from his sickness. We too are called to not give up, to cry out loud to Jesus and ask for his mercy and love 
in our struggles and in our weaknesses. Jesus is always with us. Jesus always stops for us whenever we call to him. And he understands our problem. The story of Bartimaeus, the blind man that St. Mark presents to us, wants us to understand that the power of Jesus will always win and will always overcome all the powers of evil, suffering, pain, and struggles. What Jesus wants us to do is to never give up to pray, to come to him and ask for his help. He is with us, and he always listens to our prayers. Like Bartimaeus listens and trusts and trust in Jesus' words, we too, as his disciples, in our prayer to God today, let us turn to him with all our hearts, minds, and souls. And we began to trust in Jesus' love, mercy, and his promise. He is calling us to surrender our brokenness and to come to him, the source of the consolation, of healing, of peace, and hope in our life. May God bless us. Putting our trust in God, who loves us abundantly, we offer him our needs today. For all the members of the Holy Church, may the Lord help us lead lives of holiness and faithfulness, we pray to the Lord. For all who serve in public offices, May God's knowledge and wisdom be upon them in and in them. We pray to the Lord. For all who experience prolonged suffering, may God's healing power bring them relief and restoration. We pray to the Lord. Especially for that the sick will be comforted through the spirit of healing. And especially we remember in our prayer today for Farah Mika Chris, Anne McLuff, Matthew Thomas, Mateo Thomas, Rene Perez Marquez, Maria Dolores Salazar, Kay Monahan, Ellie Nelson, and Irana Novikova. For them we pray to the Lord that through the Holy Spirit, those who have died will send to the Lord Most High for recently deceased Fabio Falcon, Antonio Vidales Savala, Damianus Dato, Patricia Val Valdenegro, and particularly those who have died from COVID-19, for Edwin Magnaye, Gloria Lachiha, Lourdes Magnaye, we pray to the Lord. And today's Mass is being offered and to pray to, for the intentions of uh, Maria Elena Falco, for her, her families, rel relatives, and friends, we pray to the Lord. And for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. All powerful and all knowing God, your glorious works surround us in our in our world. Hear our prayers today and answer them according to your holy will. And we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar on the feast day of the blessed Saint Augustine of Canterbury, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and over us your signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and our and angels and saints, we to give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. Jesus took the bread, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, and with all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced and to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And together we say the prayer that our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us now offer to each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Stella, peace, peace. Lamb of God, And behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray the prayer of the act of a spiritual communion for our sisters and brothers who are participating in this online Mass. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment 
receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I forgot you. Wow.
Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O God, that following the example of St. Augustine of Canterbury, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Our adoration today from 9, 5 to 10 o'clock, because at 11, uh, at 10, 30, we have the rosary for um, our brother uh, Elston's B funeral mass. Okay, so our, usually we have like an hour and 30 minutes, our adoration, but today, specifically today, we only have an hour for the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. And thank you for your understanding. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Bendito, bendito, bendito sea Dios, los ángeles cantan y alaman a Dios, los ángeles cantan. Yalamana Dios. Yo creo, Jesús mío, que estás en el altar. Oculto en la hostia, te vengo a adorar. Oculto en la hostia, te vengo a adorar. Oh, salutaris hostia, cui celipandis hostium, Bella premun hostilia, darobur vera exilio, uditrine oke domino, sit sempiterna gloria. Qui vitam sine termino, nobis doned in patria. Amen.